Plagues in history are a devastating historical event that we remember through plague literature today. They cause many deaths worldwide and change the way we view illness. In recent times, specifically the year of 2008, Hope College had its own plague attack. Although this one was not fatal, it should still be remembered. Here's a presentation on the norovirus Great Plague of 2008. The stories you will hear are first-hand accounts, but we have chosen to keep their names private due to the personal nature of some of the stories. I remember looking outside and seeing no one. The campus was deserted. There was not a soul to be seen. I was the only one on the floor of my dorm because everybody drove home. I even remember campus safety was outside making sure there weren't groups of people hanging around. I remember sleeping on the floor because climbing on my bed didn't give me enough time to get to the bathroom. When I was lying down, suddenly I felt a lump in my throat and I realized there was no stopping it. I jumped off the couch and sprinted to the bathroom. If only I would have made it to the toilet. On my way out, after the deed was done, I needed to clean out my mess. Unfortunately, I got a little too close and then slipped. I remember going out to Meyer and buying disinfectant. I wiped down the entire dorm room as well as every door handle in sight, and I still got sick. I remember my friends and I were laying down on the floor of Cook. Each one of us was sick, and we would take turns getting up and using the bathroom. One of our friends was actually nice enough to bring us Gatorade, although he wouldn't even come near us, so he rolled it into our room from the hallway. I remember going to the bathroom and seeing six stalls. Although it didn't help much because even the clean stalls were filled with sick people. It was so gross! They closed Phelps so no one could eat there, but they still gave us food. Although we had to eat out of styrofoam containers and take it back to our room, the food was still disgusting. I was walking out of Colin and heading to class. I had heard a whole bunch of people getting the flu, but I felt fine. Literally, all of a sudden, though, it hit me, and I began to quickly run down the stairs to the outdoors to try and find a garbage can. Unfortunately, I was on the third floor, and I didn't quite make it. I stayed in my dorm room for the whole four days and played some COD Mod 2. It was awesome. No school, no homework. Nora was the best. I guess video games are the cure, because I never got sick. I remember getting an email that said we weren't to be in groups larger than two. We were on a college campus and there is no school. What else were we to do? I lived off campus. My roommates and I locked ourselves in our cottage and didn't set foot on campus until we were sure that Noro had cleared. 